Hi, it's me, James Heaney. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm really excited that a lot of people liked the video that I put up for Bear Supply. I've got so many hours and hours of footage. Uh, it just takes a little bit of effort because the cameras that I usually record the show with don't have very good sound. So I'm using my Tascam audio that I can clean up and make even sound better than where it is originally. But I have to line it up with the video, and then when I'm doing that, sometimes I cut between two different cameras. I think the extra effort really does help the uh, the video. I think it makes it better. And the problem is, is that instead of just mass releasing, you know, years worth of shows that I have recorded, it, it only goes as fast as I can edit stuff together. But I need to desperately. I keep buying more hard drives and they just keep filling up. It's insane. I literally just bought another 250 gig hard drive just because I was working on the, the John Bolton thing. I don't know if you watched it, but I hope you do. If you didn't, check it out, this Russia thing. But I was running out of footage. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to get another 250 gigs. That was filled immediately. Uh, I And I'm already out of space again. And then I did the 200th episode for Brief News Brief. That filled up another 100 gigs of space. And bear supply takes up. I've checked it. I've got like 160 gigs of bear supply videos. And that's some of it's doubled up. Some of it's, you know, um, two cameras. But for the most part, it's 1080p. And just one camera, which is easier to edit. But there's, I'd say, at least a dozen episodes, episodes, shows, that have two cameras. What am I trying to say? I'm just trying to say that I would like to get some more of those those videos up. And I'm encouraged, considering that people seem to like watching it. Which, usually, people are like, oh, you can't watch videoed improv. In fact, that's why you don't see improv, with the exception of the short-form show, Whose Line Is It Anyways? Uh, you don't see improv on television, because it doesn't translate. You don't get to feel that sensation of it being made up on the spot. But... Humble brag, better supply works. Uh, I do think it has something to do with, A, the incredible amount of skill of the people that I'm sharing the stage with. B, my editing afterwards. I think changing the views, showing a little bit of the audience here and there, I, I think it helps uh, immerse people into it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put some more up there. The more I get through it, the more I'm freeing space on my hard drive. The second thing I wanted to mention is that tonight... I'm going to, I'm driving to Palmdale, California. It's about two hours, depending on the time of day, away from where I live, to shoot a few scenes in a short film called Andy Somebody, which is the highest budget short film I've been part of. And I'm excited. They, it's funny, because I'm playing a character called, I don't know how much I'm allowed to share, actually, now that I think about it, but let's just say this. I'm playing a, a character. It's a kind of character -y, nervous character. Um... But in the script, it's definitely written for, like, somebody, I think they said, like, 22 or 24 years old. But the person approached me, was like, James, I got this, we, this role is perfect for you. We pretty much wrote it for you. That might be, that might be stretching what they said. But they alluded to, like, this character was made for me to be. And when I got the script, I was like, made for me to be? I'm not a, this, this is not anything to do with the characters that I do. But nonetheless, I am super excited to be filming it tonight. Andy Somebody. They're posting pictures and stuff on Facebook, so when that happens, I'll share it. Um, my guess is it's going to be pretty cool from the pictures. Lots of awesome cameras. And some people that I haven't worked with in a long time. People that I worked with like 10 plus years ago that are now kind of collaborating on something. So I'm hyped. Uh, the other thing is, is Alchemy This is going really well. Uh, it's weird to be recording Alchemy This um, and being in a room when we're doing our sign-offs. Like, oh, I say, oh, check out therealjamesheaney.com or with these things. And then it's Craig Kikowski. It's like, oh, well, I'm doing another episode of Drunk History. Then And they're up for Emmys. And then Mark Gagliardi uh, just got renewed for a second season in CBS. He's not his show. I don't know about him specifically, but his show's nominated for Emmys. And then Kevin Pollack, of course. He's got uh, so many, I think it was second only to Game of Thrones of nominations for the Emmys this year for Marvelous Miss Maisel. And then even Joey from Bear Supply, you know Joey, uh, he's he's been part of a cartoon on Adult Swim. I forgot what it's called, like maybe Dream Machine or Dream Robot. I don't remember what it's called, but it's nominated for an Emmy. So it's like, wow, I got to 
I gotta get nominated for an Emmy. Now, I don't know if you got any sway or if I've been in anything that could be there, but maybe, maybe, James, for your Emmy consideration, can you get a write-in ballot? Uh, maybe for Bolton. I don't know what it would be for. I don't know if internet stuff goes up there, but I want to be Emmy nominated. But I guess you gotta do the work. Do the work. Stick to it. But the other cool thing is, is we're going to start having a monthly show at uh, the West Side Comedy Theater the first Sunday of every month at 9 p.m. It's a great slot. And the nice thing about that is we are we only, we re- record two episodes a week, and two episodes a week come out. So we're constantly, if there's ever a day that we can't record, we're slimming down how many we have a buffer for, which is not that many in the big scheme of things, because I'm about to start touring in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be out of town quite a bit. Uh, we can't afford to miss. But the nice thing is doing this extra episode will slowly build our catalog so we have a little bit of breathing room. Uh, I sure love recording that show. It's a blast. Um, well, I guess there's... What am I put, putting it off for? I owe 25 push-ups, and I'm going to do them right here and right now. If for some reason somebody else has a different count, I'm, I am welcome hearing the uh, the argument towards it, but from my math, and you can trust me, that the math I've done is 25 push-ups, and I should be able to do it. I haven't been working out as much as usual, so it might be a stretch for me. Let's push my things out of the way here, and let's uh, get a little bit of coffee. That, that always is... If I was going to be a trainer, the first thing I'd tell people getting ready to work out is you got to you gotta drink a lot of coffee. It's good. It's good for you when you're going to work out. It's good for the kidneys to drink a big chug of coffee before working out. Mm. Here goes nothing. Oh, phone call. It's not my phone, so I can't answer it. It's my wife's phone. I could answer it, but she... She doesn't want me to answer her phone. Okay. I mean, I could keep going, but I just figured I'd take a little tiny break. This is probably in super fast motion. Nobody wants to watch 25 push-ups. Here goes the next time. I don't need to take a break, but this is really just for you. It's just because I figured it was hard to keep track of all of them so quick, like a gunshot. One after another. Rat, tat, tat, tat. James doing push-ups. Okay, all right, five more, that's it. Five more. The problem is, is sometimes your arms feel like they're made of Twizzlers. But it's not the good Twizzlers, it's the off-brand Twizzlers. Okay, here we go, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god. I make it look effortless, don't I? I make it look effortless. Oh, thanks for joining. Mm-hmm. <sighs>